time. David, let me switch gears a little bit because uh, the Federal Reserve really hovering all of all of this, right? All that money out there. And, and, and uh, you know, some think, and I know you're in this camp, that they'll probably never hike rates despite all of the chatter. And you've been more concerned with stagflation. On the, ironically, on the other hand, Mark uh, says he sees inflation as a major issue into next year. So explain why the Fed is just going to talk this talk and ultimately we're going to be dealing with stagflation. Yeah, I mean, I'm more worried about actual deflation, and, and I have a lot of history on my side here. This Japanification theme is a big deal, and it is not contradictory with what I believe Mark is talking about of cyclical price inflation that can come out of the moment. The issue here is the bond market is voted, and the bond market is telling you, not with the short-term rate the Fed can control, the long bond rate with all the QE has done nothing but go down, and I believe that right now, sitting here around one and a half. I'm talking about over 10 years since the financial crisis. Right, right now with a one and a half rate, even a 2% rate, you're barely even at a 0% real rate. That is not inflationary. And I think that what you have is government spending has taken away future growth and is crushed the velocity of money and has put a lot of deflationary pressures, just like we've seen in Japan for the last 30 years. You know, not long ago, about two months ago, I did a segment and I asked uh, if Senator Joe Manchin could be the savior of the republic. I got some chuckles from the guests. Senator uh, Joe Manchin pins an op-ed explaining under no circumstance would he vote to remove the filibuster. And I'm starting to wonder if 100 years from now, will students actually be reading about the man that saved the republic? I know that. Look, uh, the real hero here is James Madison. It's Alexander Hamilton. It's Thomas Jefferson. It's the people that wrote the separation of powers that you and Mark and I are talking about into the Constitution. Because guess what? If Joe Manchin does get weak need in a state that voted for Trump by 37 points, Manchin's going to be gone. And there'll be a new person who comes in. This back and forth is what our founding fathers wanted. The reason the stock market's doing well in application right now, you could call Manchin cinema. The reason, though, fundamentally, is Madison Hamilton. It goes to the very nature of the American system. Thank God. Hey, let's leave it there. Maybe, David, we can get us a good Broadway play, James Madison and Company. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think you could pin it. All right. Hey, Gunjan, David, Mark, thank you all very much.